Okay, so because we covered the last two uh, tracks, or the last couple tracks, the posterior spinocerebellar, the cuneocerebellar, and the anterior spinocerebellar, as well as the climbing fibers from the inferior olive, uh, we're going to go through two here, and we're going to go through them a little bit quicker, and not uh, with as much detail, but not as much explanation. Uh, first one we're going to be dealing with is the cortico ponto cerebellar tract. Uh, cortical, we know it starts up in the cortex. Ponto, right here, we know it's going to stop somewhere in the pons here. Ponto, write that out so you can see it all easy. Cortico, ponto, cerebellar, we know it's ending in the cerebellum. Um, now because it starts with cortical, we know it's coming from the cerebral cortex. We know it's going to end its little journey in the cerebral cerebellum. You can go to your chart on page 107. You'll see the cerebral cerebellum gets its input from the cortical ponto cerebellar up in the cortex. So it starts up here, comes down, quick little synapse in the pontine nuclei. Pontine nuclei. Little detail may or may not test on it. Now we know that those ones come in via the middle peduncle. We can see that with this little arrow here. I don't know if he has it written or not. So it comes in through the middle peduncle. We're going to draw that out. Remember the middle peduncle um, is afferents only. So there's only information entering in the middle peduncle. Only inwards. Now if we divide this up, we've got the vestibulo cerebellum spinal cerebellum and the cerebral cerebellum. Cortical ponto cerebellar is the input to or has input to the cerebral cerebellum. We're going to draw our three layers of the cerebellar cortex again. Uh, remember that's gray matter. We have the molecular layer, the Purkinje layer, and the granular layer. Now the cortico ponto cerebell cerebellar tract has its two options, if you'll remember. Um, it can either come in as a mossy or it can come in as a climbing. Mossy or climbing. Remember, climbing starts in the inferior olive every time. This one does not go to the inferior olive, it goes to the pontine nuclei. Therefore, it is a mossy fiber mossy fibers synapse on in the granular layer in the lower level of this cortex here that's where the first one goes to mossy fiber comes in always goes to the granular layer because grain is on the ground when it gets there it synapses with one of these little granular cells which goes up to the molecular layer because everyone everything's got to end up there sometime so it goes up to the molecular layer it's going to synapse on some sort of Purkinje fiber, either a spine or a smooth. Remember, the anything coming from the granular layer to the molecular layer is a spine Purkinje. So we know it's using a spine Purkinje. The little neurotransmitter that it uses, remember, is glutamate. Um, all of this information as well you'll find on page 112 dealing with climbing fibers, page 110 um, and then also page 111 talks about the granular layer um, and the Purkinje layer and where the, what the Purkinje fibers do. So now we have this Purkinje starting up here going back down from the outer to the more deep layers. We know anything coming from the cerebral cerebellum based on our chart in 107 goes to the dentate as opposed to the emboliform, uh, the globos, or the fastigial. And there, we've got the grumpy girlfriend. I need a color. There we've got the grumpy girlfriend, or grumpy girl, I guess, GABA. GABA is the neurotransmitter that is used for that sp uh, spine Purkinje to synapse at the dentate. 
Here, a little synapse here. Then that dentate sends an axon to either the red nucleus or the thalamus via the superior peduncle. Dentate will always send axons through the superior cerebellar peduncle. Remember, going back a couple steps again, remember GABA was always inhibitory here. And remember, glutamate up here is always excitatory. It's excited to tell the Purkinje's to go tell the dentate axons to shut up. So the Purkinje is stimulated and it's excited by the glutamate and it's excited to go tell, to go let uh, GABA be inhibitory. Leaves there and goes up to the thalamus or red nucleus. Um, not that hard to remember. Now we're going to start another one here. We're going to go through the vestibular cerebellum, cerebellum and the track that uh, a fiber might take coming into it. Vestibulo we have up here. And you go back to page 107, you will see that it gets its input from the vestibular nucleus. So the vestibular nucleus, let's stick with the same thing, vestibular nucleus is right here. So it sends its information to the vestibular cerebellum through this middle peduncle. I do believe based on this arrow, that's what I'm going by. Um, I don't think he's going to ask us which one it goes in, um, but going by his diagram, that's what I'm using. Um, it also, it does look like, no it doesn't look like, it's only the middle peduncle as far as I know. So that's the peduncle that it uses. So that vestibular nucleus sends information to only the vestibular cerebellum. It doesn't go to the spino, it doesn't go to the cerebro. We know that from our chart. Um, now remember the vestibular nucleus, um, it receives input um, from, auditor from auditory nerves, I believe, and it, and it deals with balance and things like that, which makes sense because so does the vestibular cerebellum. So it sends information to the vestibular cerebellum. Now is it climbing or mossy? Remember we have two options. Mossy are the ones that do not come from the inferior olive. Only climbing fibers come from the inferior olive. This is not starting in the inferior olive. It's starting in the vestibular nucleus. Therefore, these would be classified as mossy fibers. Going up into the vestibular cerebellum. We're going to zoom into this little section here. Three layers again. Granular layer, Purkinje layer, molecular layer, mossy fibers. Go to the granular layer. Quick synapse with a granular cell comes up. Purkinje, remember it's a spine Purkinje because it's coming from the granular layer. Glutamate is used as the neurotransmitter. Spine Purkinje then goes down. So we've got up here, we've got um, mossy fiber coming in, synapsing on a granular cell. Granular cell going up, synapsing on a spine Purkinje using glutamate. Spine Purkinje, and this is where you have, it's just a little bit different. Anything from the vestibulo cerebellum, if you go to page 113, the vestibulo cerebellum is different in that it doesn't actually go to any of these four things. Anything from the vestibulo cerebellum goes down through the inferior peduncle to the vestibular nucleus. Um, to me, it seems kind of goofy that it's going from the same place into the same place. As far as I know, that is what happens based on his notes. Now, the vestibular nucleus is also what happens to stimulate all of your uh, flexor, I'm sorry, your extensor muscles. So from here, they'd be going down the spinal cord, ipsilateral, um, going to your extensor muscles. Remember the vestibular nucleus, vestibulo spinal tract deals with postural control and main maintaining balance while you fall. So it makes sense that the vestibular nucleus, the extensor muscles, the vestibular cerebellum, all of those things are working in conjunction with each other. So it's this nice little route that it takes here in order to make sure that you maintain your balance. And that is the 
two last fibers that we wanted to look at. Um, the fibers going into the vestibulocerebellum, as well as mossy fibers coming from the cerebrocerebellum, the corticopontocerebellar fibers. And that'll be that for all the cerebellar tracts.